In the high-stakes world of collegiate women's basketball, the clash between individual talent and team strategy often shapes the narrative. Such was the case when the spotlight turned to Caitlin Clark, a standout point guard with dreams of donning the iconic blue and white of the University of Connecticut, UConn, only to find herself playing against them instead. In a recent revelation that sparked intrigue across the basketball community, it was unveiled that Clark, hailed as the premier player in women's college basketball, had harbored aspirations of joining the illustrious ranks of Yukon Huskies. A dreamy scenario, seemingly destined for headlines and highlight reels, was painted, one where Clark's prodigious skills melded seamlessly with Yukon's storied legacy under the watchful eye of legendary head coach Gino Orima. However, as the tale unfolded, it became apparent that the envisioned union never materialized. Recollections from both sides hint at a narrative marked by missed connections and divergent paths. While Clark yearned for the coveted recruitment offer from UConn, hoping to proudly proclaim her allegiance to her dream school, the anticipated outreach never came to fruition. Despite occasional overtures through intermediaries, direct communication with Clark or her family remained conspicuously absent from UConn's recruitment playbook. Behind the scenes, Orima, the architect of Yukon's unparalleled success, offered insights into the rationale behind his decision-making. With the commitment of Paige Bukers, a prodigious talent and the crown jewel of Yukon's recruiting class, secured well in advance, Orima found himself in a delicate balancing act. Opting for strategic prudence, he refrained from pursuing additional top-tier point guards like Clark, wary of the potential complexities arising from managing a surplus of talent at the position. In a candid reflection, Orima elucidated his stance, asserting that had Clark harbored a genuine desire to join UConn's ranks, the onus rested squarely on her to initiate dialogue and express her intentions unequivocally. In his view, the absence of such proactive engagement signaled a mutual understanding, one where both parties proceeded along divergent trajectories, with Clark ultimately charting her course to the University of Iowa. The hypothetical allure of a clark Bukers tandem on the court at UConn undoubtedly captivated imaginations, tantalizing fans with visions of unparalleled dominance. Yet, in the realm of reality, Orima remained steadfast in his conviction that the decisions made were grounded in the best interests of the program. As Clark Starr continues to ascend at Iowa, her journey serves as a testament to the resilience and fortitude of an athlete undeterred by the road less traveled. In the annals of women's basketball lore, the saga of Clark's almost tryst with UConn serves as a poignant reminder of the intricate dance between ambition and pragmatism, where dreams intersect with strategic imperatives on the path to greatness.